The next icon which we will do is the reminders icon. So paste our shape, move it over the icon, zoom in, and uh, you can see that this fill color looks like white, but if we, if we change the fill to white, the background color is actually a little bit darker. So select this very light gray, go to more fill colors and make it even a little bit lighter, just like this. Now we need to add those double outline circles and we can do it by two different ways. We can either insert text box and insert a symbol which is already predefined in the Segure UI symbol font or we can do it another way. We can insert a new shape, new ellipse, change the fill color to orange. No, that was not the right one. Change the fill color to orange. Change the, I'll keep the outline as, for example, as black. Change the compound type to double outline. And if we raise this to some bigger number and changing to white, you can see that we have this double outline. And we can make it uh, a little bit thicker by changing this compound type to this thick fin. Maybe making a little bit bigger. And of course we want to have this color the same as the background is. So this is the light gray. Duplicate this with Ctrl key pressed. Change the fill color to blue. Green. And violet. a little bit more to the red, this one. Select every shape, align them to the left, distribute vertically, move it to the right spot. Now we want to add those gray lines. So insert shapes line, make it a little bit smaller and drag it with the control key pressed several times. You don't need to care about the exact position for the middle ones. You just want to have the first one and the last one in the right spot. Select every line, align them to the left and distribute vertically. Now select the first and the last, group it together and do, it, do the same for the middle ones. We do it because we want to resize the middle ones for the exact width and do the same with the first and the last one. Of course, we want to change the outline color to some light gray and probably make it a little bit thinner. If we move our background to the right position, we can finalize the sizes. So if we select everything, group it together, zoom out and move it a little bit away, we can compare it. Maybe we can set the line width to some thinner one like this. Okay, so all we have to do is rename the icon, reminders, move it to the first page, and we are done.